Okay, I've promised you that factoring never goes away. You will keep going and going and going. So we've mastered our four types. So simple trinomial. So can you give me two brackets? What do we know about simple? It has to multiply and add. Multiples to 24. You want to use a 6 and 4? Po positive 6, negative 4, yep. What's that? Um, no, this is just an expression. So I'm not solving for an equation, so I'm not going to add it. If I had started with equal 0, you have to carry through an equal 0. But this is not that. This is just an expression. Um, complex. So, fl is 12. Can you think of a set to multiply to 12 that would add up to 13? Positive 1 times positive 12 multiplies adds. Okay, so the F, I could do 3x times x. And then the 4, I could go with 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. But I'm looking for connectors that make a 1 and 12. Make a 1. And a 12, did you find something that works for you? So there's my foil components. There's my, my 3x squared, and then my arcs make 12x and 1x. Last times last makes 4. Okay? Your class is very good at this. This is sometimes the harder one, the complex, but I think you've kind of mastered it. Okay, difference of squares has to be the same, same, same with a plus minus difference technically adding up to zero in the middle, right? Because there's no middle thing, so that's what's happening. Okay, GCF is the other style. So what's in both of them the most? 2M bracket. So 2M times M. and 2m times plus 4. Okay, here is a new one for us today. So we're going to add one more. I call it the negative out. And how do you recognize it? This is how you recognize it. If there's ever a negative leader variable. I hate factoring. Do you notice how? Positive, positive x, like uh, everything that I started with was positive. I hate factoring when there's a negative variable involved. So what am I going to do? I'm going to negative 1 out. It's just a GCF. Okay, so if I take a negative out of this, what kind of variable do I have? A positive x. And what kind of number do I have? Positive 6. Okay. I also, in my brain, I like to have my letter first. Okay. Would it make a difference? No, but I like to have my letter first. Okay. So the next one, negative 1 bracket. 
So instead of a negative x, we'll have a positive x in there. Instead of a 9, I'm going to have a negative 9. Okay, um, restrictions. So what did we say? <clears throat> you can't divide by zero. So if I'm asking you about restrictions, here's what you do. You only ever, ever, ever look at the bottom. That's what I'm worried about. So I'm not even looking at the top whatsoever. Okay. Number one, what is x not allowed to be? Three. three. Because three subtract three, zero, and that's a problem. X is not allowed to be zero. Because if x was zero, there'd be a zero on the bottom. X is not allowed to be Hint, it's a fraction, opposite divide, right? Opposite divide. This is the same as when you factored, right? So, same thing here. If this was a factor, how would you make it zero? Opposite divide. Okay, so this one, I'm actually going to do some kind of math work before I answer it. What kind of math work would you do to this? You would do some simple trinomial stuff. actually have two values there. I do not want x to be a positive 8 or a negative 5. So just yeah, because it's just the same thing we did. We're, we're asking ourselves kind of like what's going to make that 0, right? So this little section, like restrictions, just, just look at the bottom. Just look at the bottom. Yep. And then this last one, you could kind of go at it two different ways. You could do that opposite divide. Or you could have GCF'd an 8. Both get you to a 2, right? Do you notice my symbol here? I'm just saying that you cannot equal. Cannot. So that's a number that's not allowed for using x. OK, and then the last little bit here. Reducing rationals. OK, so I need you to factor. And I need you to factor. You're going to factor them, and you got this. You're pros. I can see a simple trinomial, and I can see a difference of squares, right? Okay, you ready? This multiplier divided by this multiplier, isn't that the same multiplier? So what could I do? K 
cancel. There we go. That's my final answer. Okay, so the next question is going to be factored, and I'm recognizing that that top part is a complex. So the flow is eight, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to make a one and an eight combo to get to the nine. One and an eight. See if you can get the complex factors on that one. Okay, who recognizes the bottom? What would you do with that? So I recognized, I said, this is a complex trinomial on the top. What would you say is on the bottom? Negative one times. Uh, yeah, that negative out business, because I have a negative x involved with that, and that's not good. So negative one bracket. So what does your variable turn into? X, and the number turns into a plus four. This multiplier divided by this same multiplier, cancel. Okay, one more question and then we're done. Okay, what do you see on the top? What kind of style? GCF. So what what's common? 2M. So 2M times what? 2m times what? Okay, on to the bottom. I actually see a GCF again. There's three terms. They all have what in common? M. Okay, now, continuing, I see a simple trinomial. So I'm gonna rewrite the top. Did you see what I did? I kept the M out front though, right? And then those two. Okay, so I'm going to look for cancellations of the same multiplier dividers. So m plus 1 multiplier divider can go. And that one can go. Multiplier divider, multiplier divider. Okay, 
I gotta talk about a bad thing. Some people see this and they want to cancel the two. That is illegal. You cannot do that. Is two, is the two here a multiplier divider? No. No, it's an adder. So you can't do that. Okay, so why, why doesn't that work? So let's just pretend I had this. This would be two sevenths, right? Pretend you wanted to cancel, which is wrong. You would get one fifth. Is that the same thing? No. Okay. What can you do if it was a multiplier divider? Two tenths, could I cancel and get one fifth there? Yes. Do you see the difference here? I was connecting multipliers and dividers, but here I was connecting an adder, which is illegal to cancel, okay? My grade 12 still illegally cancel all the time. So there's a situation where it's like your brain wants to, don't do it, okay? So does that make sense? You can only cancel multipliers, dividers, okay? So why can I do it with m plus one, with this add part in there? Because m plus one is a number in the bracket times by, okay? Page one and two.